In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint this winter landscape using just watercolors. So, let's get to it. So here I've got my setup. You can see the water for my watercolors right next to my watercolor paper, which is backed with carton. And this is taped to my easel to prevent it from flying off. And I've built this easel all by myself. If you guys want to know how to build it, there's a link in the description. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just apply a nice light blue glaze all over. This is pretty much just going to represent the sky. Now I'm just adding in a bit of background trees. These are significantly darker than the trees in the front. So here I'm just blurring them out, adding in the shadows. Now I'm just doing this layer again. This is going to be the mid layer with the trees that aren't completely dark, but they're still in the background. Here I'm just adding in the shaded foliage. Now this is the foliage that doesn't have the sunlight hit directly onto it. Here I'm adding in the first main tree. Adding in the smaller branches on the top. There's going to be around six trees in total from the left edge all the way to the sixth tree. You can see each tree has its own unique style and height. Now here I'm just adding in a bit of detailed branches. These are the smaller branches branching out from the second main branches. Now here I've started to add in a bit of foliage. I'm just stippling in using my dry brush to apply green paint. Closer to the middle, I'm adding in darker foliage, and closer to the outer edges, I'm adding in lighter foliage. This will make a more realistic effect. A mistake that I did was I put the foliage all over, whereas the foliage on the pines were mainly on the tips branches. Now I'm giving each tree its own unique color. This will help distinguish the trees from each other. So here I have day two of painting. just adding in the small dark branches near the edges of the trees. Here I'm just going ahead and adding in the field, so this is going to be the background for the field itself. On this I'm going to put the field plants and other small shrubs. Here I'm just starting to add in different color tones, a bit of shadows, a bit of light. This is to emphasize the ground. So now using a wet paper towel, I'm just going to put in some strokes going lightly horizontally. This is just going to blend everything in and make it look a lot smoother. Here I'm adding in a few background shrubs. And now I'm using a dry brush to go ahead and add in vertical strokes. This is going to represent the field plants with a lot more detail. Now 
Now, the closer it gets to the front, the more detail it's going to have, which means I'll be using the smaller brushes closer to the front. Here I'm just adding in the faint field in the background using a dry Just blending in a bit of watered brush with it to smoothen it out. Here I'm just adding in the more detailed features of the front of the field. Just adding in a few touches to the field. And the last touch is a small red cardinal sitting on a bush. So there we go, the painting is finished. Now after I finish painting, I like to grab my notebook and write an evaluation of how I did. Now this helps me improve as a painter by seeing what I did wrong and what I could fix up in my later paints. So there we go, if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching, and have an amazing day.